Hey guys, what the hell is going on in this Bravo streets? Like every day, another Bravo celebrity has something going on. Like now is Vanderpump Rules. So I don't know who saw the last episode from this week, but this past week, um, Raquel was super thirsty talking about she wants to make out with Tom Schwartz. And I thought that was a bit weird. I don't know if she thinks this is her way to secure her spot on Vanderpump Rules. Like to sell herself easily to these losers. Like why would you want to be with Tom Schwartz? We already heard his member doesn't work. So that's a waste of time and a waste of an encounter to me personally. So now it comes out that Ariana and Tom Sandoval who have been dating for over 10 years have separated this all happened back in december apparently his phone dropped ariana got to pick it up and when she picked it up she saw videos of raquel pleasuring herself on tom sandoval's phone confronted him he admitted it but raquel kept lying about it until obviously she was presented with the evidence i mean i wouldn't tell the truth either like what is raquel do i feel bad for her i'm actually worried about her because she gives me, except she's faking, she gives me just like a lost soul. Like LA is eating her up and is going to spit her out. That's what she gives me. And that is worrisome because, you know, millennials, Gen Z, there's like an increase in, you know, S happening to our generation. So that worries me for her. But I'm hoping she's just doing this for a storyline and her mental health is super strong. But I digress. Anyways, so this is absolutely crazy. Like we already know she's going to make out with Tom Schwartz. Now we're hearing Tom Sandoval is in the mix. I just don't want her to be a pass around girl. Like I'm so worried about her. Then we know she made out with um, Garcelle Bouvet's son as well. I mean, we, sh we saw the for the next episode, I think it's on the preview. So we saw that already. So we know that's going to happen. And now this is number three. And she already made out with Peter. Which, I mean, at the end of the day, we're in 2023, be a sexual being if that's what you want to be. I'm not, you know, talking about any woman's vagina and her bodies. Who cares? But I just want her to be cognizant and you're on national TV. You do what you're going to be okay with if you look back on. That's, that's what I'm looking at. And if you're just sleeping with them just to be on the show, then that doesn't make sense. Like, girl get it together and i don't know if she's sleeping with them or if she's just making out with them those are two separate things but what pissed me off is lala coming to speak on it meanwhile she was a concubine to the big fat guy that ended up cheating on her that she claimed she had no idea he was cheating on her and he was this awful person even though he was still married when they were together her being basically his prostitute on the side getting gifts and giving BJs for Range Rovers. Her, she's talking and she's talking about, I'm not, I've never been a side chick. I've never slept with anybody's man. Like, girl, we watched you do it. Like, how soon do we forget? But you know what? Lala can never see inside herself and she's always quick to speak about somebody else. She irritates me and I guess Bravo keeps giving her opportunities and that's why she thinks she's bigger than what she is. Then James Kennedy also commented, which is like crazy. He says it gets dark that apparently this encounter or encounters took place in Ariana and Tom Sandoval's um, home, which is proper sick. Like if that happened, like Raquel is not as ditzy as you think, because that takes kahunas to do like you messing with the girls, man, in her home. Where she could have a ring video system. She could hear you by accident. Like, girl, what are you thinking? But the the streets of Bravo are hot. Like, I wonder what's going to happen tomorrow. We just have to wait and see because, God, the things keep coming out. Like, OMG. Tom Sandoval and Ariana, it sucks for them. It sucks for Ariana because, I mean, she's wasted all this time with him. She didn't have a baby. And it looks like she actually desires to have a baby based on last season's conversation. So it's all it's all trippy. Like, I hope she's okay and, you know, she'll get over it. I mean, they all do. But, yeah, this is what's going on in the streets. Y'all tell me what y'all think. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good night. Bye.